So, this is some of the equipment that I use to build my pump. I've got an axle, adjustable spanner, which goes to 31 mil plus, a length of copper, and five inches of copper for your handle, an equal T, 22 mil, 18 mil washers, stainless steel, and my missus don't know about it, but I've been using her chopping board. That's a six mil chopping board made of nylon that I use for the top cap in my 22 mil equal T. Then we have the stainless steel locking nuts. At the other end of the pump, we use a 15 mil solid bar, which as you can see has been drilled through. And then what I normally do is I get a, a little bit of weld on the end to stop the handle moving. Uh, but in this case, this end's been threaded and uh, just just wound on. But it, it that hasn't come loose, so for me it works. Okay, for me, my stainless steel shaft is 1.1 meters long. That's just the right length for me. And here I have a bit of pre-cut copper 22 mil pipe that is 900 mil long yep. okay so next we're going to get our equal T on all the ends of this equal T there's normally an olive in there but on this particular end I've taken the olive out and then I get my 26 mil washer that I made for the top cap slide that in and then screw it back onto the T. You can do it up nice and tight, it hasn't got to be too tight. Then, then we're going to put the handle on. We're going to make our handle for the T. So unscrew that. Obviously, this was pre-built, I'm just showing you what I've done. Slide the handle in with the olive in there. Fix your handle in. Do the equal T up. You won't be able to do it too tight at the moment because you've got nothing to leverage it on. Then we're going to grab. It's gone off, Dave. Is it? Just, just touch the screen. That's it. Okay. Yep. Then next we're going to get our shaft and we're going to slide it inside the hole there, all the way through. Just leave that as it is for a minute. Then we're going to slide a bit of plastic over the end of the shaft that acts as our shock absorber for when we're pulling the pump stop the pump being pulled right through the, the equal T right. right okay so the next stage we get our bit of 22 mil copper pipe and we need to put a bit of lubricant in the pipe because obviously the, the inside of the pipe is going to be bone dry and the silicon is going to be dry so to be able to slide it down the length of the tube we need to put a little bit of washout liquid in there not a lot just enough to to lube the end then we get hold of our shaft and plunger and then we slide it in there slide the pipe in as tight as it go bring the nut up tighten it up by hand as much as you can now it's time to tighten everything up. So, now the pipe, the um, bait pump is built, we can tighten the nuts up a lot easier. So obviously adjust your, your adjustable spanner to the size of the nut, and then adjust your, and then tighten the nuts up. Make sure that you tighten them up hard enough that you compress the olive so it bites on the copper pipe. And then to tighten this one up, you need to turn the pump over that way and then we need to use the handle to help tighten the nut up. And there we go. That's the bait pump bill. Now for the final adjustment. Okay, so now we've turned the pump upside down. Put your foot on the handle, tighten the nut up, just give it a little bit of up and down movement until you feel a little bit of resistance not a lot still loose now it's starting to
Now there's a little bit of compression here. But as say, as you can see, it's still leaking pressure. So we tighten up a little bit more. Try it again. That's a lot better. That's the pump built and ready to go down the beach. But as I said in the in the in the other video, you can do all the pressure testing you want at home. It doesn't mean nothing. Get it down the beach. Take your 10 mil spanner with you and do your final adjustment on the beach because you'll need you'll definitely need this spanner because every time you go the sand's different so you'll need to adjust your pressure as you go.